biggest events, I think, in the company's life was the creation of the piece Inscape. And it was the initial reconnecting of Bella with Rudy Gernreich, you know, a major fashion designer. No one had ever seen anything like this before. The way they looked, the costumes Rudy designed. Inscape was a huge marker moment in the kind of work Bellow did, that, certainly that collaboration with Rudy. Rudy and I decided that his contribution would be fabric, because that was his field, and that my contribution would be motion. I said, design something for me, with an impediment if possible. And so he did for me what I dubbed a duotard. We began to explore what the fabric would do, where it would go, what it would achieve. And the movement was invented around the restriction of the fabric. Inkscape was really about the fabric. I don't know if anybody ever knew that. It was really about that stretch fabric. And there was a connection to the DuPont Company about utilizing the fabric and showing it off, and boy, did we do that. Rudy really took her to places that I'm not sure she'd gone on her own. It was a true collaboration. And it was also the first presentation of a major modern company at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion in Los Angeles. Um, no one thought dance would, modern dance, would work there. The ultimate in modern dance. See the exciting Bella Lewitsky Dance Company in its long-awaited Music Center debut. From coast to coast and around the world, this dance company has been lavish with praise. Experience a new dimension of thought in motion with the Bella Lewitsky Dance Company, December 21st at the Music Center. Tickets are now on sale. That evening, the curtain was late by over half an hour because people were lined up around the block to get in. We filled the music center. No one would believe this. It was such a phenomenal evening. Um, the piece was a smash hit. Nobody knew what to make of it, uh, including me. Um, and it marked a point in time where they could not ignore her as a major artist anymore. 